Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It has been so long since I've recorded anything for you guys and I do apologize. February has been such a busy month, like holy cannoli. However, I am excited for today's video because I got my hands on the Judy Doll Mascara. And if you guys know what's been going around TikTok, Instagram, it is like the viral mascara for Asian lashes because it has the metal wand. Now, I know Hourglass had like the metal wand before, but for me, it's like I can't use mainstream mascaras because it just weighs down my lashes. So I have to use Asian mascara. Um, so this is what Judy doll is obviously and we or I am excited to try this out Like I am so excited. So anyways, let's get right into the video But before we get started, of course, be sure you are subscribed to my channel ring that bell So you know if I want to upload a new video video and don't forget to give this a thumbs up for the fact that I finally uploaded a actual video for the longest time and uh, Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle right here and let's finally get started with the video. Honestly, you guys, it has been so long since I recorded. I actually missed that and it was so hard to find like some sort of content to like do for you guys. Like it has been like a dry spill for me, I feel like. Um, I'm trying to find a mirror right now. So let me go find one. So I'm actually planning to rearrange my office a bit so things are kind of like all over the place a little bit so again um this is like the viral mascara it's the mascara um like the metal wand so i got the regular wand they, they come in different kinds of course there was like the one that goes straight it kind of and there's another one that kind of bends a bit and there's the slim one for your bottom lashes and I picked one up, I thought it was a primer, but on the receipt it said it is a remover. So I guess we'll see how this one works. Um, so I'm gonna scoot you guys in closer and we're gonna take a closer look how this works. By the way, um, I got home not too long ago and I just completely like removed my makeup and I was just like, hey, let's dive into this because I am that excited. So I got this from at Eden Center. So which one I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do with the regular one. So the regular one I have is the Curling Iron Mascara. This is what the box looks like and I got it in shade in the black shade number one um, So yeah, I was at Inner Center earlier and you know, I was just browsing through like the Asian store my hair's gone crazy But anyway, so I went through the Asian store and I'm like hey, let's see what's around and I saw Judy doll. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to try this out. So this is where we're at so this is what it looks like out of the box and of course, when I do open this, this is obviously what the wand looks like. It is just a metal rod. Um, again, I know Hourglass had the same thing. I'm hoping that it will automatically just keep my lashes curled and not have them droop down. But I heard that it's not supposed to do that. So let's try this out. Um, my lashes are still pretty darn straight-ish. I don't know if you guys can notice it too much. Um, I'm scooching a little bit closer. Maybe you guys can see it right there. It's pretty darn straight. So I'm gonna obviously curl it and see if this is actually gonna keep my curl or not. So this does retail for like $16.99 there. So like after tax, it's almost 20 bucks, which isn't bad really. It's like drugstore mascara, I feel like nowadays, even though some of them are still pretty cheap. But for Asian mascaras, it's gonna be a little bit more because you know have to import them in. Um, so, anyways, give this a good turn. This is what the wand looks like. Again, see those ridges? So you guys can see my lashes are definitely curled, and let's see how well this curls my lashes. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be like volumizing. It's just supposed to help curl, lengthen, and all that good jazz. And you know what? It's looking really, really nice, right? You guys can see that? You can definitely see a difference there. Wow, looks pretty nice so far. Um, and nothing is drooping. I hope you guys can see that. Nothing is drooping, so I may put a clip somewhere just like before and after, but you can see it is still definitely curled compared to, you know, the before. So yes, Judy Doll does have like other 
uh, types of wands. So they have the black color, the brown color, and the only two different wands really that they have is like the straight one and this and the one that kind of tilts bends a little bit. So that's the one I have. Now I don't know if that makes much of a difference between the two really because I feel like they kind of do the same thing and maybe it's just more ergonomically uh, like better for your hand rather than having a having the wand just straight maybe I don't know like I guess maybe it helps to curve more I don't know but like in terms of looks wise I that I don't really see it um so I'm gonna open the slim one now this is supposed to be like more precision or more for the lower lashes so again it has like that angle as well and it's a smaller rod um and of course, we're gonna do our bottom lashes because it is tiny. So I'm kind of just like rolling it as well. We're trying to at least because I don't want to drop it. So the slim one also retails for $16.99. So they're about like all together. It's like about 40 bucks with tax with them. Um, with the remover, the move, the remover, or the remover. It is $14.99. Um, so basically collectively all together with taxes was $65. Uh, you know, it's quite pricey for like just three mascara tubes. But I can't find Judy Doll in a physical store for the life of me. And then when I finally found it, I'm like, okay, I need to hop on and, and grab it. Because I have been dying to try it out for the longest time. So the Slim Precision one. Not bad. Um, you can see the difference between this bottom and that bottom. Um, I feel like I, don't know, I prefer my other mascara for my bottom lashes. For me personally, um, I mean these don't look half bad for like my bottom lashes, but I prefer my other one. So let me just pull that one out. This so the one I typically use is the I guess the heroin make the micro mascara. Um, this is what the the component looks like and that is what the brush looks like if it ever focuses. So that's what the brush looks like. And I like this better because it is in there's like a shape of a triangle. Um, I don't know if you guys can really pick that up but it's in a shape of a triangle. So I usually typically use like the edge and that shapes my bottom lashes so well. So I do prefer that more. I mean, the slim one, not bad. I don't mind it. But the mascara wand, like for my upper lashes, beautiful. Like this lengthens, curls. I think it's like you can see a bit of volume going on there. But first impression so far, I absolutely love the top. Bottom, yeah, you know, it's, it's good. Um, I don't hate it. Um, but I feel like if you have longer bottom lashes, then you may not like it a little bit more, but mine are still quite short. Um, so yeah. This is supposed to be the remover, and this is what it looks like. And, uh, you know what, let's see if it removes, because I believe it should still also be, yep, it's still the, the wand. But this is a plastic wand instead of the metal one. And... You know, it. I think what you just typically do is just, you know, run it through and I guess wait for it to do its thing. I don't think you really need a special, you know, mascara remover. I typically go in with an oil base um, makeup remover and it just takes it off anyway. So I don't really think you guys need the remover. I think I have to wait a bit, I, I guess. Okay, so I just checked the website again. So you run it through and then you take your compad and then... You know, you gently rub and wipe off. Oh my god, that took out so easy. You know what? I take back everything I said. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, I take back what I said. I really, I honestly do. Like, oh my god. Okay, so that's the mascara. I am in disbelief. So I'm going to take some like micellar water and just like maybe clean it up a little bit. But overall, it took... It took it off. My cellar water is never going to take off like this mascara. Let's be real. And it barely takes off like my other mascara. Um, but for cleaning up what's left, yeah, it's gone. Okay, I'm I'm eating my words now. I actually really like it, and I didn't think that I would. Um, so this is a quick video and quick first impressions. But so far, I. I really like the mascaras. I really do. So, in conclusion, 
Judy doll mascaras, like the first impressions, I absolutely love it. The slim one, I think you can get away without getting that um, unless you, you have really long bottom lashes or if you want more precision, sure, get it, but I don't think you need it. Um, but the regular mascara, that is so good. Again, I don't think there's much of a difference between the straight one and then the one that's like a six degree angle. Um, again, maybe ergonomically, probably a little bit better, better curvature, but overall, I think you will still get the same result. And the remover, I, I eat my words on that. I 100% will eat my words for that for sure. Like that, that was so easy to take off. Like with my other mascaras, I have to use the oil-based makeup remover, you know, shake it up, you know, hold it for a bit, whatever, and take like a few tries to get off. This was so easy. So anyways, you guys, if you can't tell already, I approve of the remover and the regular mascara one. Um, again, like I said, if you want to get the slim one, go right ahead, but I honestly don't think that you need it. Um, so anyways, you guys, that's it for today's re video. It was just a quick first impressions because I really wanted to try it out. I wouldn't be able to tomorrow because I'm getting my lashes done because it's been quite some time since I've had them done and I want to see if anything has changed since the first time I've got it up until, you know, now. So anyways, you guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.